hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET Core with Razor Pages how to bind data dynamically into radio button list element and here we got the final output the heading binding data into radio button list in ASP.NET Core with Razor Pages now when I select India it's selecting now notice when I select Australia, see the India is unselected. You say Australia, India. Before it's selecting all the radio button controls, and now it's selecting only the single radio button control. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET Core. First, we'll check the table and the column I want to bind into a radio button list element. The table name is a country which contains two columns, CID and CNAME. The CID column is the auto generated column and the second column, CNAME, which is the country names. Right now, this table contains three rows with three country names, India, USA and Australia. Now, my aim is I want to bind these country names into a radio button list element using ASP.NET Core in Razor Pages. So let's open Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET Core web application. Go to File, New, Project. The project I'm selecting ASP.NET Core web application. Click Next. Let's give the project name. Radio button RB binding code eraser pages and the location I'm changing to D D drive in the project folder. Click create and the template I'm selecting web application project template and the ASP.NET Core the version I'm using 3.0. Click create. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. First in this project open solution explorer. I'm adding the connection string in the app settings.json file. Let's open this file. Now in this JSON file between curly braces, between double quotes, I'm adding the connection string, connection strings, colon, curly braces. I'm closing with comma because it's a JSON file. Now between these curly braces, I'm adding my connection string name, which is my connection column. And in this double quotes, I'm adding my connection string data source. To get the data source, open server explorer. In the server explorer, there is a data connections. Right click the data connections, add connection. Let's add the SQL server name. After adding the SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. The database name is a sample DB. I'm selecting that one. Test connection. It succeeded. Okay. Okay. And here the sample db.dbo is added under data connections in server explorer. Now we require the data source of the sample db. Right click the sample db.dbo. Go to properties. Now in the properties there is a connection string which contains data source. Just copy the data source and paste between these double quotes. After adding the connection string in this app setting.json file. Now the next step open solution explorer. I'm adding a new folder called models folder. Right click the project name, add new folder. And the folder name is models folder. Now in this models folder, I'm adding a simple POCO class which contains only definitions. So right click the project uh, folder name, add, click class. The class name is country class. 
click add and here we got our country class now in this country class first I'm adding the namespace using system dot component model dot data inertions after adding the data inertions next time next I'm adding the key method in this key after key method let's add the property the property the first one is the integer type and the property name must be the same as a column name in a table if you check in the table first column name is a CID so I want to create a property with this column name CID prop double tab and the second column name property which is a string type and the property name is C name copy that one paste here so after adding the properties in this class now next open solution explorer again in this models folder I am adding a new class for the DB context right click the models folder add class the class name I am adding connection string class now in this connection string class colon db context the db context class is belongs to the microsoft.entity framework code namespace so let's add the namespace using microsoft.entity framework if you notice in the drop down list we don't have any entity framework code package so let's install the package first delete this code open solution explorer right click the project name uh, manage nested packages click browse and search for microsoft.entity framework call uh, this is the one I'm looking for and here it is and the version is 3.0 let's select that one click install click ok I accept and the package is installed successfully and this package is installed in the project dependencies folder let's expand that one notice in this dependencies folder we have a packages folder let me expand that one here it is the entity framework code now that I, I need the another package which is a design entity framework code dot design click install ok I accept and this also is installed successfully now in the next namespace we require a SQL server click install ok I accept the license and SQL server is also installed successfully now the last namespace the package I want to install the microsoft.entity framework code.tool select that one click install click ok let's accept the license and the tools package is also installed successfully that's it we have added four packages and those four packages are installed successfully in our packages folder now let's close this nudget package window close this output error list and output message box let's add the package here using microsoft dot entity framework code then let's inherit the DB context class. After that, let's create a constructor CTOR. It creates a constructor of the class. In this constructor, I'm adding DB context options. The DB options, the T entity type we are getting from this connection string class options. 
current base options and the next add the property the property type is a db set in this db set i am adding the entity model which is our country class and the property name is we have to add our table name the property name must be our table name after that open solution explorer let's open the startup.cs file in the startup.cs file let's add the, the services uh, before adding the services we must add the namespaces using microsoft entity framework code and the second namespace using the models folder so let's add the project name dot models folder after adding these two namespaces now in the configure services let's add the services dot add db context in the db context the t context type is i'm adding the connection string class options and lambda expressions dot use sql server method the SQL server method I am adding configuration dot get connection string now between these double quotes I am adding the connection string name which is this my connection copy that one and paste here between these double quotes that's it we have added the services in this configure service method in startup.cs file now open solution explorer i want to bind data into a razor pages so notice here in the project we have the pages folder let's expand that one the index.cshtml which is a default file let's open that one if first in this index.cshtml i want to change the header Binding data into uh, the radio button list. Radio button list in um, ASP.NET Core H2 Razor Pages. After that, I'm adding horizontal line. I don't require this P. Let's delete that one. Now before adding the radio button control, first we'll write the code for that open page model, right click the mouse, go to page model. And if you notice in the page model there is a default coding is added. So before that let's import the namespaces using Microsoft.entity framework code and the second namespace rb underscore a project name dot models folder after adding these two namespaces now this private read only i'm deleting this default i'm adding my connection string class underscore cc now in this constructor i'm adding connection string class cc CC equals to CC. Now after that, I'm adding the property prop double tab. The property type is I enumerable. In this I enumerable, the type of objects we are getting from the uh, this model country class. Let's add the country class and let's give the property name um, results. Now in this onGet method, I'm adding the results. The property name is equals to await underscore cc dot. I'm adding country table name dot uh, to list async method. And here it's showing some error. Um, 
this is the void method delete that void and add an async task that's it we have written the code to fetch the records from this country table now let's bind this data from this results into radio button controls so after the horizontal line I'm adding for each loop because in our table we have more than one record so for that I'm using for each loop variable item in model dot I'm adding results this results is this variable now let's add that uh, toolbox open toolbox and here's the uh, radio button control now after adding the radio button now I'm adding the simple label control label ID is equals to lab result and uh, ASP file I'm adding CID the column name at item dot C name uh, here at item dot C that's it we have done the complete coding part now let's check the results on the browser browse with and I'm selecting the browser Google Chrome set as default browse and here we got the output of that call notice the header tags below that we have the radio list button controls which includes the country name now when I select any particular radio button is selected India now let's check if the user wants to select the other radio button for example Australia and this is also selecting USA it's all selecting if I want to unselect it's not happening so to make this radio button a single selection so switch back to the coding part and the input element the radio element just add the property called name makes the all radio button controls as a group so name is equals to I'm adding group you can add any name here just for the example I'm adding group here so now let's check that output again browse with let's select the Google Chrome set as default browse and here we got the final output the heading binding data into radio button list in ASP.NET Core with razor pages now when I select India it's selected now notice when I select Australia see the India is unselected USA Australia India before it's selecting all the radio button controls and now it's selecting only the single radio button control that's it